Hi guys, welcome back. For those who don't know me, my name is James. I'm the sleep coach here at Sleep Play. We appreciate you joining us. Today, we have the battle of the two of the best top machines out there, the ResMed 10 and the ResMed 11. You're sitting in the Coliseum right now watching the battle. Uh, there's many similarities between these machines. There are some differences that we'll go over shortly. I just want to explain to you uh, the, the similarities, okay? So first and foremost, both machines are auto set and CPAP machine, okay? They both go from four to 20, the ranges. Uh, that's one thing they're similar in, okay? They have the integrated humidifier in the machines. They also have ability for the climbing line too. We now, in that sense, okay, the AirSense 10 right there, I would say is better. The climbing line tubing has the ability to turn right and left um this air sense 11 is straight in there and it doesn't have that ability so a lot of people like that okay um it does have like i said the heated um humidifier in there the water chambers okay everybody asks me or make comments about it oh i'm running out of water with the air sense 11 the chamber smaller i read and at resmed itself stated both of the machines house 380 milliliters of water it is the same i don't really know what that means okay it's all technical but it's basically the same amount of water so if you are facing any humidity issues dry air um all you gotta do is turn up that humidifier um, on either machine but i am getting something something said about the air sense 11 often oh the machine the humidifier is smaller it doesn't have it house a, a, you know the same amount of water it does okay so both water chambers are the same they even hold the same capacity of water okay so we got the air sense 11 the new and approved machine by resmed it's got a lot of neat features on it and mainly a lot of them are software based okay and so the first thing we have is the my air personal therapy assistant and what it's going to do is it's going to guide patients with equipment set up and basically get it acclimated with the therapy and the machine that's what all this is about is making it easier for you to get used to the therapy so you can benefit quicker okay and so how it's going to do that it's going to do it based on videos and voice instructions which is really awesome okay on my air so you can go to my air and you got that personal therapy assistant that's available for you okay the second thing is care check-in so care check-in is basically it's going to be time-based questions checking questions they're going to ask you that are tailored to your needs and it's going to be basically answering any and helping with any issues common issues you're having with therapy okay uh, the last but not least basically with the software is over the air updates okay so this machine is going to get software updates oh, directly to the machine okay so you're going to get maintenance feature updates right to the machine it's kind of like i thought when i first uh, read about it and understand a little more it's like having your cell phone when you have to update your phone you know it's kind of having a, a dial phone uh you know and a, and a new phone you know it's basically old and new you don't have any more knobs on the machine or anything to maneuver with the with the air sense 11 you have everything touch screen you can navigate through the machine much easier uh, once again and so with this here like i said you have to you know press the knob and go through the knob and everything also um they both have this smart start feature what i've always tell patients and what i do um with the um air sense 10 the issue was when you put the smart start on or the smart feature on um it goes off as well I, I don't like to set people up if you're wearing a full face mask. Why? Because I've mentioned this before. If you have the smart feature on, it has to go off as well. So if you're using the machine, it rises to a higher pressure. Yeah, it went out by itself, but it's also going to go off repeatedly through the night. That's the issue. With the Air 11, you can choose which you want to happen. So you can turn it on. You can have it turn on by itself, but not turn off by itself, which is awesome. So you can use the machine. You don't got to worry about shutting off when it gets to higher pressures, which is really great okay also um this air sense 11 the power supply is basically 65 watts okay which makes it a lot easier and it gives you a lot more life when you're using a battery or traveling or anything like that okay air sense 10 is 90 watts okay 
And so you can use them both with the batteries, but this will last longer, okay? And so um, it's the AirSense 11 versus Air 10 battle, all right? And so I think personally, the AirSense 11 wins. Actually, there's a little more features than I mentioned. Um, it actually has a lot of features, updates on the AirSense 11 that the AirSense does not have. The AirSense 10 is a great machine. It's still a great machine. I love this machine. I always have. It's a very popular machine that people buy. Um, but the AirSense 11 takes takes the whole takes the whole reign. All right, in size, weight, now sound as well. AirSense 10 a little bit. A little bit is it a little bit uh, a little bit quieter okay this is a little louder they're both whisper quiet okay so you don't have to worry about it they're dead quiet you don't have to hear anything um, I'm just telling you in, in regards to the decibels um, this is a little bit louder okay but they're both whisper sound uh, you're not gonna hear anything as you've been set up if you've been set up on a machine or you're using it you know it's, it's, it's quiet you don't hear anything okay and so this is the battle between the AirSense 10 and AirSense 11 AirSense 11, I believe, takes the win. Uh, but like I said, both of them are great machines. If you want to find out more about either machine, please click the link below and we'll see you next week.